Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And child, it's almost three o'clock in the morning, and I'm up making videos. Child, I ain't got nothing else to do. But I'm really up. I'm really up drinking wine. <laughs> And I kind of felt like making a video. So I was like, let me go ahead and make a video. Um, ooh, baby, I might not have no job. Girl, you know, we were talking a couple of weeks ago and I was like, girl, I might not have no job. No, girl, I might not have no job. <laughs> girl, ain't no, I don't know why I'm laughing, girl. I was like, that is not funny. Ain't nothing funny about being unemployed, okay? I just want to put that out there. Ain't nothing funny. Ain't nothing cute about being unemployed, okay? Um, but yeah, girl, I might not have no job for real. Girl, I need to, girl, I was sick, girl, texting my friend, girl, now what? Girl, your job hiring, girl, let me go online and see what I can start to do, this, baby. Because I'm not playing with these girls. These girls, not y'all, not y'all. Let me write down a name so y'all know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about these girls, hold up. Baby, these girls, I'm not playing with them, baby. Baby, they already playing games on my channel. No. You can't, I'm not saying that word no more, and I'm not damn sure not saying this one. Do you hear me? So don't ask me to talk about nothing that's going on with this, because I'm not talking about it no more. <laughs> okay? Baby, the girls is, baby. <laughs> baby, shout out to all the girls on here who do this full time, and this is how they make their living. I don't know how y'all do it. Cause they too, they too all over the place. You know what I'm saying? And I be thinking about the girls who really like the girls who like do this for a living and pay their bills. Like I can't do this for a living and pay my bills. You know what I'm saying? But I know it's girls out there who this is their job and this is how they pay their bills. And I'm thinking like, girl, how to like, how are y'all doing this? Like, I have to have an income. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, girl, as much as I love doing this, girl, this ain't no PTO for me. This ain't no insurance. These ain't benefits. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get none of that from her. I get that from the job. I get that from my job. <laughs> I don't get that from this job. So, shout out to all the girls who do this. I don't know how they do it because, especially now, with everything going on with these people, not y'all. Y'all know what people I'm talking about. Girl, I'm ashy. I just put some hand sanitizer on too. Um, but I don't know how they do it because I'm just like, girl. The only way I would be even comfortable with this setup and not having a job, I guess this will be my job. I would have to be making a decent coin. Like I would have to be making at least 15,000 or 20,000 a month for me to even say, okay, I'm not going to work no more. Anything other than that, and, and it, it would have to be consistent. Not like, oh, 15 this month, 3,000 the next month, 2,000 the next month. Ten, no, it needs to be like 15, 15, 15, 16, 17, 15, 14, 17, 19, 17, 17, 17. Something in that area. You see what I'm saying? Where I know. Where I look over the last year or year and a half and I'm like, okay. It's been consistent. This has been the lowest I've made, 14. The highest I've made is 17. So I know it's going to be somewhere between 14 and 17. But I know 17 to 1,000. Anyways, child, so yeah, a bitch might not have no job, so we're going to have to start figuring out some shit over here. Baby, did y'all see um, Deborah Cox and Tamia? <laughs> I said, I was in this bitch screaming. Count me to the ending of the Baby, you can tell me, bitch, I wasn't part of the trio. Baby, I, I made it a trio. Introducing Deborah, introducing <laughs> introducing the three baddest singles, Deborah, Tamia, and Rodney. And girl, I was right there with them singing background ad lib and verses right along with them. Okay, I know that love can make you feel. <laughs> yes, I was in this bitch. I love wait, baby. Let me tell you something, about, baby. Deborah Cox and Tamia. I don't want to go into the whole rant about the new versus the old, but I have an appreciation for the new girls and the new boys. I do. 
but it's not like the older girls and the older boys. Like back then, and I'm and like people know what I'm trying to people know what I'm saying. Back then, you had the Tamias, the Deborah Cox, the Brandys, the Monicas, the Beyonces. You know, before them, you had like the uh, the the Whitney's, the Mariahs, the um, Celine Dion's, the Tony Braxton's. You, you had all these girls that could sing. Like, even the girls who probably didn't get as much shine as, like, the Whitney's and Mariah's, you still knew that it was girls out there that, like, could wear the mic out. You see what I'm saying? Like, you knew, like, everybody could sing and nobody really sounded the same. And it's like, now, like, you have the girls. I don't give a damn what nobody say. You have, like, the Summer Walker. Summer Walker can sing. You have Summer Walker. You have, like, the Hers, the, um... Ella Mays. You have all these girls, but they all have that same voice, in my opinion. Just like just like the guys. Like Bryson Tiller and Ja Quay. So is that his name? The one who got himself the king of R and B. You have all these guys who sat who have that same voice. And even before with the guys, you had the tanks, the Luthers, the Genuines, um, the Tyrese's. You had these niggas and bitches that was wearing the mics out back in the day, girl. Okay? Word them out. But when I tell you, baby, them bitches, when I tell you, Tamia and, girl, Tamia and Deborah were singing background, ad living, and singing verses all at the same time. Live, bitch. Live. It wasn't like, oh, girl, go in there and sing the chorus. Okay? Now do a little ad lib. Okay? Now sing the verse. No, them bitches were singing verses, ad living, and singing background all at the same time. Do you hear what I just said? I lived. I caught my life. I caught my life. Bitch, you can tell me I couldn't sing with them. Bitch, I wish I could sing. Bitch, if I could sing, it would be over for you hoes. <laughs> Do you hear me? It would be over. It would be over. <sighs> what are we talking about? Let me turn the AC on, y'all. Hold up. I've been eating good over here. I've been eating good. I've been eating good. I've been eating good, baby. Yes, ma'am. Oh, child. I got a little hot in here. I think because I got this scarf on. And I'm drinking this wine. Anyways, child. What, what are we talking about? Hold up. What are we talking about? Let's go and get this hoe out the way. You know what? I'm tired of talking about her. But we're going to talk about her anyways. Chloe Simpson. Chloe. So basically, the internet got into Chloe's ass, basically. And um, they got into Chloe's ass because Chloe has been hanging out with her baby daddy. I think they're I think they're qu quarantining together. Is that the word? Okay, so listen. I look at it both ways. The tw Twitter ate her up because basically everybody has forgiven Tristan. Everybody is this big happy go family, and everybody loves Tristan. Okay, this is the first thing. Tr Tristan is her baby daddy. Period. Okay, that's just what it is. Um. He ain't going nowhere. He's not going nowhere. He's her baby's father. I can get how people are side-eyeing Chloe like, bitch, y'all did all of that to that girl, Jordan, Jordan Woods. Remember when Jordan Woods and Tristan kissed and the whole thing broke loose and it was just a big mess. You know, like I said, I still have a few questions for Miss Jordan and Mr. Tristan on how the hell did this happen because Tristan is like seven feet tall and Jordan is what, five, nine probably. So I need to know how the hell and I, I was all that space in between y'all and somehow y'all still still managed to meet up and kiss. At some point, bitch, between that, between his neck, between his neck coming down to your face, somebody should have said, hold up girl, what you doing? <laughs> girl, what you, girl, what you doing? Uh-uh, what the fuck is your problem, bitch? That would have been me. Okay? And then I would have got on the phone and called my sister like, girl, you need to get over here because your nigga is tripping. Okay? 
Girl, I fell asleep on the couch, and girl, I woke up this nigga all in my face. I'm about to go. You need to come and handle this. This that would have been me, girl. I don't know, cause you know these bitches they'll turn decent, girl. You know y'all. Some of y'all, some of y'all will get mad at the friend. The friend ain't did shit but try to hook you up to tell your ass what the hell was going on. So now you mad at your sister. That's why I don't be no. That's why I be. I really do kind of be stuck on like, do you tell your friend stuff when you know something? Especially like with girls. Especially with girls. Cause this is the problem. One of the problems, I'm about to go to a whole nother thing. One of the problems I feel like with gay guys, the reason why straight guys don't like gay guys, of course with all the stuff that, oh, you know, the stuff that comes with that. But I think another reason is, is because they know gay guys, we hip, we hip our friends to game. Like, girl, you know that nigga ain't, you know that nigga full of shit. Girl, why are you with that sorry ass nigga? Girl, that's me. Why are you with that sorry ass nigga? So I feel like that's why I, that's why I feel like sometimes straight guys don't like gay guys because they know, nigga, at the end of the day, gay and all, bitch, I'm still a motherfucking man and I know how y'all asses operate because, bitch, I used to operate the same. <laughs> Who y'all? So I already know. And then it's like with girls, when girls try to tell their friend what's going on, it's kind of like, girl, the friends get mad at, it's like the friends get mad at that girlfriend for trying to tell her, bitch, you know your nigga trifling, he tried to talk to me. Girl, what? And then of course, they believe the nigga or they take the nigga side. Now you done lost a friend who you been knowing since kindergarten and this bitch was really telling you the truth. And you know your nigga sorry. So anyways, child, I don't even know how I got into that. Um, at the end of the day, Trent, Chloe is grown. Chloe gonna fuck who she wanna fuck. She gonna date who she wanna date. Even if she not fucking Tristan, he's still gonna be in her life. I'm not gonna lie, I was side eye in the hole. Cause I think I read somewhere where he wanted to be with, uh, or, did I, or did I put that in my head? I can't remember. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. I thought I read somewhere where Tristan wanted to be there with True. I don't know if I read that somewhere. Or is that something I put in my head? I can't remember. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, though. Cause I don't, I don't want to bear her telling lies, girl. Um, but I think I read somewhere where he wanted to be with True. That's why he was at the house and they were all quarantining together. Is that a word? Because I keep saying quarantining. Um, but anyway, Shell, um, that was when they trying to get that shit out their system, basically. Um, but my whole thing is like, Chloe, you so fucking dumb. Like, if that is the case, you gonna let this nigga come over there because he wanna be with True. But girl, what about his other son? Oh, I'm sorry, what about his son? Not his other son. What about his son? So he could, girl, that, that, that's just Tristan's way of trying to slither his ass back over there and you the dummy who opened up the door and let him back in. Quiet as it's kept, girl. You probably, you and your daughter probably got that shit if you really want to go ahead and be honest about it because we know Tristan like to run the streets. We know Tristan is for the streets, girl. You still haven't caught on to it, but we know. I can't do nothing with Tristan. I wish I could fuck Tristan because I've been telling y'all Tristan fine as hell. But a lot of these bitches watching my videos right now, if they wanted to smash Tristan, they could. For real, for real. Because a lot of these bitches I follow on Instagram and, and a lot of them is bad. <laughs> I got some badass followers, y'all. Anyway, so a lot of these bitches could, could smash Tristan if they wanted to. So quiet as it's kept, girl, Tristan the probably I already brought that shit into your house because probably, probably right before he even walked to walked into your house in Calabasas, wherever y'all live, he probably just got done leaving a bitch house in West Hollywood. Okay? Or Beverly Hills. And now he done brought that and now he done brought that shit. He done brought the shit that he done caught from that bitch to your house to your to your daughter. Girl. So y'all got it. Chloe, Chloe and True got uh coronavirus from Tristan from fucking other bitches. How much I wanna bet? Put some chapstick on. I'm over doing off with my lips and shit. How much I wanna bet? This chapstick is not going on. I got some more chapstick. See, I got another chapstick. But I keep chapstick. I got some more chapstick, but I'm trying to, girl, I'm trying to, girl, I'm that ghetto girl. Ghetto girl. Girl, I'm that ghetto girl. Baby, I saw, 
Baby, I start using my finger. Baby, I try to get everything out my chest. Did. Everything. I try to get everything, baby. Yes, I am. Baby, you saw it from now. This is some Lamia. Thank you, Tiffany, for trying to buy me some Lamia, girl. I ended up buying me some shoes, girl. Because <laughs> I was like, girl. I got to buy me some shoes. I do want that Lamia, though. Y'all, for real, I want to start getting my skin together and all that stuff. We have to start investing and taking care of our skin and drinking water. Um, but we have to start investing in good skincare products, too. I don't think that every skincare product has to come with, uh, with an expensive price tag. But some of the good stuff, like Lamia, bitch, Lamia high as hell. Just go Google Amir, bitch. Y'all, some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Cause some of y'all use that shit. Because last time when I said it, girl, some of y'all was like, yes, you got to invest in good skincare product. I'm like, okay, bitch. Y'all got money, money, girl. Because I ain't bought none. I just be looking. Okay, <laughs> bitch. I just got a sample of the chapstick. I didn't buy none. And some of that shit be high as hell. Um, just go look at the prices, y'all. Let's see what I'm talking about. Some of y'all ain't even got to go look because y'all already know what I'm talking about. Anyway, Shaw, what was I talking about? I just been here running run my mouth, honey. Yeah, I'm trying to do. Okay, so what y'all think about this? Jay told me it's somebody out here in distress, so I'm coming drop a bag on it real quick. And this corona um, sickness. I ain't even finna show her, but this is what y'all need to be doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's people out here with less. Here, here, baby. You stay here every day? No problem. I get a no, no problem, y'all. Oh, oh. What? Yeah, both of you. Why you? Uh, uh. You need to be out on your feet. You no, a man. Sure. You need to be out on your feet. Yeah. You don't. Your, uh, 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 uh. No. Don't get him nothing. You need to be out on your feet. You need to get up and go get it. Yes, she shouldn't give you anything. Get your ass up. I don't. Women and children. That's it. You get up and you get out here and you make a way. You don't ask up for nothing. Yes, nothing. Let me tell you something, young man, old man. You get up. You get off this mat right now. And you stand up with your chest out. And you go out here and you motherfucker make a way. Don't never hold your hand out to no woman. You could do a lot of things out here. Get your ass up. I've been seeing you for four days. No, you get up. And let, let me tell you something, ma'am. I'm not even going to put you on, on wax. Don't you ever let this man hold his hand out to you again. You hear me? You hear me? Don't you ever. I don't care about him being old. He ain't got. He ain't handicapped. He he ain't handicapped. He ain't he ain't old enough. Listen, we de death is promised, my lady. Why he still got some life in him? Make him work. Make him work for us, sis. Don't you, you get your cart together? Get your ass out here. What's wrong with you? You don't hold your hand out to no woman. You're crazy. I don't like that. Get it together. You don't do that. I'm not even gonna lie. I might what do you do? I smoke tea. It don't matter. Listen, do. it don't matter what you do. No. I really want to show these people that's on here stressing about, oh my God, we so stuck in the house. This this what this this was going on. You Every get what I'm day. saying? Every this was day. going on and y'all talking about y'all stuck in the house and y'all so bored and y'all so this, so that. Look what other people going through. You get what I'm saying? Look what other people going through and y'all y'all bitching about being stuck in the house. Some niggas ain't even got no motherfucking house. Man, get your mind right. Look, bitch, don't get that don't get that man no money. You understand me? That's on you. That's on you if you give it to him. That's on you. The way he just held his hands out to you, I don't I don't like that at all. And I don't know what the fuck y'all going through, but I'm gonna tell you that. If you land on this bed on this on this floor outside with a man with a man that's already a I never have Okay, so for those who don't know, that was Tommy from Love and Hip Hop, former castmate of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Um, you know, I think she has a show coming on Zeus. I don't know when it's coming on, but I do remember seeing some type of advertisement for Tommy and some type of show on Zeus. You know, everybody got a girl. Let's see, bitch, they handing out shows on Zeus. 
Uh, but yeah, I think she has this. I think it's executive produced by Tammy Roman. And I think Mona Scott. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But I do think she's had, I do know, I think. No, I think I know. I think I know she has a show coming out on Zeus. Anyways, child. So that was Tommy from Love and Hip Hop. Okay. I don't really have a lot to say. Um, I think, girl. Tommy, girl. Okay. I, I have a little bit to say. Let me stop lying, bitch. I just talked to them about 17 minutes about Chloe and Deborah Cox. And now I ain't, now I ain't got shit to say. Um, okay, let me start out with the good. Okay, let me start with some positive. I think that Tommy was trying to do something good, you know. Uh, I think that she had good intentions. Um, I think that's all I got. <laughs> Bitch, Tommy, you want to show your ass down to Tommy? What was you doing? What was you doing prior? Pre love and hip hop Atlanta. When your ass scheming, scamming, and stealing, bitch. Now you got the nerve to go out here and try to tell somebody get up and get get up and get it and get up and do it and don't be asking no woman for no money. Well, girl, sh should he follow in your footsteps? I like Tommy. Don't get it twisted. Y'all know I was team Tommy. I was not gonna watch love and hip hop. Remember when Tommy was just like a, a friend of the show? She wasn't like an actual like cast. I was like, if that don't bring Tommy back, I'm not watching. But Tommy on some real shit, like I think where you went left was okay, you walking up to these people, you're doing a good deed, but then you want us then you want us to see that you're doing a good deed. So okay, let me take the camera out so I can show people that I'm actually a good person. Okay, girl, whatever. So you walk up to these people, these homeless people on top of that. It's probably cold. I think it was raining outside. And you talking to this man who's old enough to be your grandfather, you know, get up and don't and Okay, let me say this much. It could be a possibility that Tommy actually did, did motivate this man, right? We're going to give Tommy some credit. Tommy could have motivated this man, get up and don't be asking no woman for shit. And he could have actually gotten up the next day and went to a shelter, took a shower, you know, shaved or whatever, and went to McDonald's and put an application in and got a job, you know? So it's a possibility that he could have done that. I don't know, but we just gonna, you know, give Tommy another another one. Um, but you walk up to these people. I did. No, I'm not gonna lie. I did think this. I said these niggas. I said, bitch, even the homeless niggas is trifling. Because as soon as Tommy gave that woman or whoever that was gave that woman that money, that nigga put his hand out and asked for some. I said, that don't sound like a nigga from income tax season. As soon as a bitch get her income tax check, heard this nigga come back. Talking about, you got me, uh, you got me, and your ass, here your dumb ass go, giving him half of your stacks, like a fool. I meant it, and I said it with love, but I meant it. And if it, if it hit you, then it wasn't meant to hit you. This is coming from this is coming from your big sister, <laughs> your your favorite cousin. If it hit, then it hit. <laughs> okay. Anyways, child. Um. So yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I thought my oven was on. At the end of the day, <sighs> why is it so hot? And I got this cough on. Maybe it's so hot because I'm drinking. I turn my AC down some. I'm not turning it that. Well, I do. I guess I could turn it down a little bit more. I'm not getting up no more, girl. So anyways, child, um, I felt like what she did, it was, she was trying to do a good deed, y'all. I do. I just think that it's kind of like, it's kind of like right message. It's kind of like right message, wrong messenger. Um, maybe if it would have been somebody else who knows how to speak to people who are in situations like that, it wouldn't have came across as so aggressive, you know? Because Tommy was a little aggressive. She was a little aggressive. Um, but like I said, I do think she had good intentions. Um, I just think that, you know, when you have the camera out, it's kind of like, girl, she got this camera out. But I don't think that she, I think she tried to do the best she could in her, and she tried to do the best she could. <laughs> We're going to leave it at, we going to leave it at that. All right. The brat, did the brat finally come out the closet? Huh? I don't know. Cause I didn't, cause 
I, you know, for the longest, the brat, you know, the brat, the brat. I'm, let me say this much, much before we even get started. One thing I'm going to say about the old school gays and lesbians is maybe because they grew up in a time where they couldn't be their authentic self. They couldn't come out the closet. They couldn't live in their truth. Maybe that's maybe that's part of the thing too, you know, because nowadays, girl, you know, we come out, bitch. We girl, we kicking and screaming and bitch doing cartwheels and a counting and girl, yeah, bitch. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, we doing all of that. Um, so you know, it's a different now. It's a different time versus now back in the day. But I will say, like the girls, like the the brats. And the Queen Latifah's baby, one thing, and this is gonna sound so weird coming from me. This is gonna sound so weird. One thing I do love about them bitches, they do not tell they tea. Like, bitch, you can catch them hoes hugged up on yachts with bitches. Do you hear me? You these hoes buying each other Bentleys. Bitch, they can get out and say that they, you can see them on one knee proposing. They will never say they a lesbian. <laughs> and quiet as it's kept, it really ain't none of our business. I, I always thought like, damn, Queen Latifah. We know Queen Latifah is a lesbian. Hello? We've heard about her engagement to that personal trainer. Um, we've seen her on yachts with girls. Not girls. The women who she's been in relationships with. Well, I guess girls. But people who she's been in relationships with. And... Queen Latifah still ain't came out and said, bitch, I'm part of the LGBTQ. <laughs> Queen Latifah said, girl, no ma'am. Bitch, y'all not gonna make y'all not gonna make my personal life the story. Even the brat. The brat, I remember when the brat first got on Dish Nation. I remember hearing the brat say, like, talk about guys. Like she was interested in the guys. Now, I talked to one of the, this girl the other night on the phone, and she was telling me um, that she always thought the brat was bisexual. But now she's probably, like, leaning more into women, but she always thought that the brat was bisexual. She never thought she was gay. She never thought she was uh, straight. Um, But I remember when the brat first got on um, this, na this nation, and she was talking about guys, and the way she was talking about them was like she was interested in them. And I was like, how was this bitch up here? Have y'all noticed that studs be having the biggest ass, the biggest asses? Have y'all noticed that? The brat got so much ass, but the brat don't be the only one. It always be the studs who have the most banging bodies and be, and bitch be studs. I'm talking about ass everywhere. Anyways, child, I'm, so the brat. The brat, I guess, finally came out the closet. She's, I guess, in this allegedly in this relationship with some girl. I think she's super sent best friend. What's her name? Big Booty Judy or the real... I don't know, girl. I don't know what these girls do. This one girl I work with told me that she, um... What she said she sell? Tea? Something. One of them Instagram things, girl. I said, baby, that bitch... bitch we in the wrong business because if she doing all that and she buying hoes Bentley, Bentley cars and shit, the fuck? Do I need to be selling tea bags too? Um... But yeah, Big Booty Judy or the real Booty Judy, somebody with a big ass. I just know she got a big ass. Um, and I think she's super sick friend. She bought the Brat uh, um, Bentley truck, I believe, for, I think it was her birthday. And it was pictures of, you know, all around. I mean, it was videos all around on the internet. I said, oh, okay. I said, okay. So I guess the brand the finally came out the closet. Girl. Not fine. I'm not gonna say finally. Um, not finally, but she's, you know, I guess she's embraced the other side of her sexuality, if there's an other side. That's what I'm gonna say. Whew. I'm about to go wash my ass. I'm about to drink the rest of this wine. Anyway, sure. I feel like I got it. I 
feel like I do. I don't know why, but I feel like I do. Like my chest still been kind of tight and hurting. Anyway, we ain't gonna talk about that because we're not about to get we're not about to get all sad and stuff, okay? So anyway, sure, y'all probably about to go wash my ass. Not probably. I'm about to go wash my ass. Um, pour me another glass of wine. Find somebody to listen to on YouTube while I'm in the shower. Shout out to the brat for keeping her business her business. And another thing too, I do believe in. Stop asking people are they gay. As it, it, bitch as messy as I am, as messy as as nosy as I am, stop asking people are they gay. Like we can sit here and talk about like, girl, you know the brat and so so so. But like I hate like I just think like if you walk up to a man and ask him, are you gay? Why? Also, like, why? Why does it matter? You want to suck my dick? Because if I respond to you, if you say, right now, you gay, and I say, why you want to suck my dick? Now I got to fight your boyfriend because you said I'm being disrespectful. But no, you was being disrespectful for trying to be in my motherfucking bedroom because I'm not in yours. Am I in your bedroom? Am I in your bedroom? So why are you in mine? Right. Right. So don't ask me who the fuck I'm fucking if I ain't ask you who the fuck you fucking. I only think that's fair. So stop asking people are they gay because they're none of your business. Uh, once we want that, once we find out, girl, we gonna talk about. It. <laughs> now, bitch, once we find out, bitch, we gonna talk about it, okay? But bitch, I ain't gonna ask. I'm just gonna wait for the shit to hit the ceiling. Like, okay. That's what I'm gonna wait to do, girl. But stop asking people are they gay. Ain't none of your damn business. And then when you get cursed out, now you want to go get your boyfriend. You going to tell your boyfriend how you was all in, all in my bedroom? You going to tell your boyfriend that? You going to tell your boyfriend how you was asking who the fuck? You want to you wanna tell your boyfriend if you want to know if I'm sucking dick or not sucking dick or if I'm getting fucked or not getting fucked. You going to tell your boyfriend you was in my business? Right. Tell your boyfriend that. Because I ain't asked you nothing about your... I ain't asked you nothing about who you sleep with. Because really and truly, when people ask you, are you gay? They just really want to know if you sleep with men or not. <laughs> it, ain't like it, ain't, it ain't like they're about to come up to you with some stats. Um, okay, well, I want to let you know that, you know, the, 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 you know, stats regarding men having sex with men. No, you just want to be nosy. Anyway, I think that's all I got to say. What else, child? Is that it? That song got to be number one by next week, honey. Because the way y'all been wearing that hoe out, wearing it out. Yeah, that's it, child. We can talk about, I guess we can talk about Miguel Nunez Jr. Girl, remember him? He was he was on, I think they said he was in Joanna. Oh, Joanna Man. Joanna Man. I remember him being on a TV show too. But he um was um they say he was stealing groceries. Now this is what I read. At first I read at first I read that he went to Ralph's grocery store. He said that the line was too long, and so he left. <laughs> the fuck? He said he left. No, I'm saying what the fuck to him. Not because nothing on my girl. What the fuck? You just leave because the line is long. And you, but th this is a, this is a guy. He didn't leave because the line. He didn't just leave with the line because the line was long, baby. That nigga left with the groceries that he didn't pay for because the line was too long. So basically, he's saying that he was in line. The line was too long because you know when you go to the grocery store now, you have to. They have like tape on the floor. They're making you stand at least six feet apart. Uh, some of them not six feet, but it's like a you know they try to make you stand at least three or four feet away from each other. Um, so they have tape on the ground. He said that he was standing the, his six, six feet apart. The line was long, so he said he just walked out the store. He said he came back the next day to give the money for the groceries. <laughs> He said he came at the next day to get the money for the groceries. Now, the grocery store is saying that he got in line, got to the front. His car declined. He walked on right, he walked on right, right out that store with the groceries. <laughs> and then they said he came back the next day and they told him, the manager saw him and was like, no. And so they called the cops 
and the cops, um, I think they gave him a ticket, but they're not, I don't think they're taking anybody to jail right now over misdemeanors because of the, what's going on. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, like, one thing is like, okay, if it is true what he's saying, if it's true what he, if his story is true, who the fuck do you think you are to the point where your ass just get to walk out the grocery store and not pay for your, bitch, if we got the, see, that's why I said, these celebrities, they want to be celebrities when, it, when it's time for them to be celebrities. Because, bitch, now, now all of a sudden, you don't want to be treated like the normal folk. Because, bitch, everybody else got to stand in line. I don't know. No, I don't know one bitch who go to the grocery store and walk out and say, I'm going to come back. I'm going to bring y'all money tomorrow. I'm going to bring y'all money. Girl, I'm going to bring y'all money tomorrow, girl. I got to go. This line too long. Bitch, what? Bitch, we all have to wait in line. All of us. Now, if it is true that his car declined and he walked out there still with them groceries. That's sad. I, you know, I already told y'all. It's try. I know. I know that this probably is not because if, if you know, I don't think that people should go to jail for stealing groceries. J groceries, like ain't nobody went to ain't nobody went to Saks and tried to steal no Gucci belt. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Or no, like girl, they went and sold stuff that they need groceries. So even if it is true that he stole the groceries, I you know. I think somebody should have been like, girl, look, don't come back in this grocery store no more. If you come back, I'm calling the cops. But yeah, I just don't think people should go to jail for stealing groceries. I just don't. That's probably why, I, <laughs> maybe I don't need, maybe if I own the grocery store, then my mind will change, okay? <laughs> all right, y'all, that's all I got. I'm about to go wash my ass and then I'm about to just drink the rest of this wine and girl, girl, try to go to sleep, girl. My sleep, my sleep is all the way off, girl. Every day this week, I have not been going to sleep until like 8, 8.30. 8 a.m. Ain't that some crazy shit? Baby, let me say, I don't even want to say it. My nerves are a whole lot better than they were the other day. The other day, baby, my nerves were fucked up. Do you hear me? Baby, my nerves are so goddamn fucked up, bitch. Ooh, my nerves was fucked up. Yeah, like y'all don't even understand, girl. I didn't know what was going on with me. Y'all, I think y'all said it was my my anxiety. But my nerves were fucked. Like fucked, fucked. Like fucked. Thank y'all so much for the emails that y'all be sending me. Cause they they really did help. I was reading some of the stuff. Not when well, I said I was reading some of the stuff that y'all said in some of the emails made me feel a whole lot better. It really, really did. I was like, girl, I have to just calm myself down. Girl. There's too much going on, but I really have to like calm myself down. And I don't go to the internet that much. All the time I'm really like, like, I had to like, I'm thinking about for the time being, like, you know, I follow Hollywood a lot. You know, I don't too much care for Jason Lee, but it's a blog and it's a popular blog and he, I mean, shit, you know, it goes with what I do. But he, He's talking. Is every time I look on his blog, he's talking about. Um, and I don't have time, so I think I'm gonna unfollow him until this whole thing, cause he's like the only one that really just like talks about it all the time. So there's certain things I know I need to do to like make myself calm down not google it no more because that was a problem like well, let me google and see what's going on girl ain't nothing change ain't nothing changed in a few days it's still the same girl if anything has done got worse so stay your ass off the internet okay anyways child, i'm just talking all right y'all i see i see y'all probably tomorrow y'all see y'all tomorrow because uh red housewives of atlanta come on tomorrow so we'll i see y'all tomorrow night um oh and then i we have to wrap up um i think tomorrow is the last part of the conversation with Ray J and Princess Love. So I'll probably see y'all tomorrow evening. And then when tomorrow night comes, I'll see y'all again uh, with the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Go ahead and get that out the way. Um, if I see anything worthy of, you know, making a video, we'll do another Hot Topics video. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.